Hey guys, this is Will from Pro Training Basketball and I'm going to give you the top five post moves I use in my game that I believe will help you dominate the low post. Alright, so the first move is the jump hook and the reason why this is the first move is because every move after this will end with the jump hook and it's the go a good go-to move. Every great player needs a go-to move and this is the move I suggest. It is simple, but if done right, it's very hard to defend. The first thing you need to do, catch the ball above the block. Now in my case, I'm going to go to my right, so I'm going to step with my left foot. As I step though, I'm going to use a power dribble. This power dribble, it allows me to get into a jump stop so that I land on two feet, both my feet at the same time. This allows me later on to go into counter moves without traveling. But in this case, I'm going to explode off my two feet, keeping my off arm, which is my left arm, between me and the defender. This is a tip I've learned over my years playing basketball that allows me to get my shot off over more athletic and taller defenders without it getting blocked. To master this move though, you have to make sure you can go both right and left. This makes it difficult for a defender to take away your go-to move, which allows you to be more effective in the low post and set up counter moves later on. For more details about the jump hook, click on the image now. The second move is the up and under, and this is a good counter to the jump hook, and if any move ends in the jump hook, you can always transition into the up and under to get your shot off. So this move sets up just like the jump hook. You want to start off above the block, catch the ball, and after you catch it, you're going to step with your inside foot using your power dribble to propel you into your jump stop. Now, when you land on two feet after the jump stop, just like the jump hook, instead of exploding up, you're going to show the ball, hoping to get your defender to leave his feet and if he does leave his feet, this is where you're going to utilize the step through so that you can get by the defender. Now on the step through, what you want to do is keep your inside foot down, in my case my left foot, and step through with your outside foot or your right foot. Once you step through, you want to explode off that outside foot that you were stepping through with and jump up, ensuring that you do not travel. You're going to jump off two feet and go up with your outside hand so the defender cannot come back and block the shot. For more details about the up and under, click on the image now. The third move is what I call the dribble drop, and this is just a quick counter to the jump hook, which keeps the defender on his heels. The dribble drop is another counter move to the jump hook and can be just as effective as the up and under. The move starts off just like the first two moves, where I'm gonna start off above the block, and in this case, I'm gonna go middle, stepping with my left foot again. However, this time, I need to make sure during the power dribble that I only dribble with one hand, and it's oftentimes best to dribble with your outside hand or my right hand. This dribble will lead me into a jump stop, but instead of picking the ball up, I will dribble one more time and then drop my outside foot, in my case, my right foot, around the defender. As I drop the outside foot, I need to make sure that I don't pick the ball up until I plant my right foot. This ensures that I will not travel. Once you are here, you want to bring the inside foot, my left foot, to a power base so that you can explode up into your hook shot. Also, the nice thing about this move is it, is it can la lead into the up and under without traveling, as you see here. For more details about the dribble drop and the dribble drop up and under, you can click on either image now. The fourth move is the half hook or the dream shake, and then this just keeps, you know, the defender, if he starts cheating the dribble drop, you can hit him with the shake and come back with the hook shot. The dream shake is very similar to the dribble drop and is a natural counter to it. It starts off just like all the other moves above the block, and I will again go middle, stepping with my left foot and taking a power dribble. Just make sure, like the dribble drop, you are dribbling with one hand, your outside hand, and will use a second dribble after the jump stop. This makes the defender think you are doing the dribble drop. However, when you drop your outside foot, my right foot, I will push back off this foot into your jump hook. If you want the defender to bite a little more, you can try and show the ball, but make sure you aren't too careless with the ball so the defender doesn't knock it loose. So again, once you're here, you want to push off your outside foot, your, your right foot, back into your hook shot, keeping your off arm between you and the defender, just like I taught you in the first move, the jump hook. If you are playing a really good defender though, just know that the dream shake can also lead into the up and under. For more details about the dream shake, click on the image now.
All right, the fifth and final move is what's just a face-up shot. And the reason why this is in the moves is because it pulls a bigger defender away and makes you more versatile. This moves a complete 180 from the rest. Sometimes in the post, you're gonna be playing a stronger defender and the back to the basket moves won't be as effective. This move should help solve that problem. Again, I'm gonna start off above the block, giving myself a good angle to score. This time, I'll be doing a reverse pivot with my left foot as my pivot foot and my right foot as my jab foot. All the lefties out there, you're gonna be doing the exact opposite with your right foot as your pivot foot and your left foot as your jab foot. The jab is not a necessary part of the move, but I'm showing it because it helps create space if the defender is up on you. After the jab, you will gather back your, with your pivot foot, my left foot in this case, and raise up into a jumper. Oftentimes, a stronger defender isn't quick enough to respect the jab if you want to go by him, and then if you don't, come back and contest the shot, giving you a nice easy shot to make. That's all there is to the move, but practice is necessary to master the shot. While you practice a shot, make sure you get a better feel for banking it and hitting it straight on so that you're prepared for either situation. If you're more interested in face-up moves, not just the face-up shot, click on the image now. Okay, so those are the top five post moves that I think will help you dominate the low post. If you like this video, uh, subscribe down below, comment if you have any questions, and uh, I have a playlist over here that I've been releasing on how to do all these moves, so you can check it out if you have any questions. And again, comment down below if you have any questions and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next Thursday.